The Gemara says that Hashem, Dovra Melech pleaded with Hashem to let him know when he's going to die. So Hashem said, nobody can know that. I can't give you that information. <coughs> so he said, at least tell me what day. So he said, Shabbos. So he said, Shabbos, that's the worst time. there'll be chil Shabbos because of me. I don't want it. Can we push it off till Sunday? Hashem said, impossible. Because a malchus, once a new malchus has to begin, no delay. And, and your son has to... <coughs> so he said, then Friday even, I'm willing to give up a day of my life said so there shouldn't be any chance that I should be a cause of Chil Shabbos. Hashem said, no thank you, because one day of your Shilas Vitish Bochos is worth more to me than the thousand Korbanos that Shlomo Melech is going to bring every day. To know what the Sefer Tehillim is, what it means, the Shilas Vitish Bochos, and the Torah of Dovar Melech, Hashem said, it's worth more to me than the thousand Korbanos that he's going to bring. So, so Dovr Melech knew that he's going to pass away on Shabbos. So he, so he, every Shabbos he was makbid. Till then he learned Torah Shabbos, but now he was makbid not to be mafsik at all, not to stop learning at all. So the Malach Amodis couldn't touch him. The Torah is Eitz Chaim. The person's learning the way Dovr Melech was learning. The Malach Amodis couldn't get near him. So the Gemara says the Malach Amodis played a trick. He shook a tree. Dovr Melech went out and he got him. But it's brought that Motzah Shabbos, Dovr HaMelech would make a party, a suda, to celebrate that he knew he has another week. He has another week. He knows that a hundred, he was confident a hundred percent. There's a story like this by Rabbi Aaron Zal, the Talmud, one of the Talmudim of Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi Aaron Mibreslev, who was a tremendous Talmud Chacham. The Rebbe loved him very much. The Rebbe said, we have to give a special yashikoyach to the horses. We have to say thank you to the horses that brought him to Breslev. And the Rebbe said he gave him a beer on the Dhamma. He was a place, he up very, very special. The Rebbe said to him, I love you so much. When Moshiach comes, I'm going to bring him to you on a tray. That's <laughs> what he said about a Talmud. And the Rebbe wasn't one to chan for anybody, certainly not a Talmud. That's the way he loved him so much. So the Rebbe told him <clears throat> that your name is Aaron, and you come from Aaron. And just like Aaron, Akoyim, his yard site is Rishchei Deshav, the Rebbe told him that, that that's your time. So right after the nine days, it's brought he would make a suda. He knew he had another year. And sure enough, he was nifta, rishchei v'shav. That's the way rishchei, like Arna Koyin, the yard site of Arna Koyin. This Dovr HaMelech gave us the Sefer Tehillim. <coughs> the Rebbe says that Tehillim is an incredible koyach. We know that now we're going into Shilas of Tammuz and Tisha Bar Churban Beis HaMikdash. So the Muslim writes that the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed. What Shlomo HaMelech built was able to be destroyed. What Dovr HaMelech did was indestructible. The Mokoy Mikdash, that still continues, to exist. that still retains its Kedusha 100%, the Mokoy Mikdash. So Dovr HaMelech, is, what he did is Nitzchi 100%. Had, had it become so Nitzchi, the, the Koya Dovr HaMelech's Koya of Tefillah, the, the, the Sefer Tehillim, the Rebbe said that Dovr HaMelech wrote Tehillim with Ruach HaKodesh, that every single person, every single challenge that any person will have in their life, all of it is in the Sefer Tehillim. A person would say, that, that's ridiculous. You know, we're talking about millions of people, millions of Yidin. We know there's a story like this with the Ramban, that the Ramban had a Talmud. One of the Ramban's Talmudim that went off the derech, he went off the derech big time. He came to the Ramban once on Yom Kippur, and he said to the Ramban that I ate basar b'chalov, I ate chazer cooked in milk on Yom Kippur. And how many Isra Kores did I do? So the Ramban said five. He said no, it's six, because it was this also. So the Ramban looked at him and asked him, "What? How did, how did this happen to you? How you know? How did this happen to you?" He said, I'll tell you how it happened to me. It's from one of your shirim. You gave a shir once, and you said that in Parsha Sazinu, that the Shira Sazinu is such a Hele Gezach, that every single Yid is included in Shira Sazinu. And I knew that that's ridiculous, this Kenesh Zam, impossible. So once I saw that one thing you said wasn't, I, I figured everything, you, and I challenge you now also, show me where am I in Parsha Sazinu? So it says that the Ramban went in a corner, and he was mispalo. The Ramban was a breastlover. Mm. The Ramban went in the corner. As I state, and say the Rayon, the story is brought to say the Rayon. He went in the corner, he was mispalo for a few minutes. He came back and he said, okay, I'll tell you exactly where you are. 
There's a posik Omarti af ehem, ashbiso me ene zichron. I said I'll destroy them, I'll erase their name from mankind, they'll be wiped out completely. And he told them that the third letter in each one of those words spells your name, Avner. His name was Avner. He heard it, he turned white, you know, he saw with his own eyes. Ruach HaKodesh, told the Ruach HaKodesh, you know, he saw the whole thing. So he said to the Ramban, so what do I do now? What do I do? He told him, you heard what the Pasuk says. So it says he took a boat, he went out into the ocean, and he was never heard from again. Finished. So we, Azim was one of the smallest parashiyas in the Torah. Azim was 40 psukim. 40 psukim. In those 40 psukim, the Ramban said, everybody, all of Kali Yisrael's family was 40 psukim. So if we talk about the Sefer Tehillim, there for sure, every single Yid and every single Matzav could be found in the Sefer Tehillim. So one of my Rebbe's, Rebbe Michal Dorf, when he was in Russia, the best of used to write letters to him, and he used to write letters back. So one time he wrote in one of the letters that the Rebbe says that when a person is saying Tehillim, you have to look, you have to search and find yourself in the Sefer Tehillim. When you're saying those kapitel of Shira Malis, Mima Makim, Kurosi Hashem, each one of the Psukim, the person has to see his own matzav, where David Melech writes about his Mulchomas and everything, to see, the person has to search and find himself in the Sefer Tehillim. So he wrote, in the Sefer Tehillim, you have to search to find yourself. Reb Nelson gave us a Likutei Tfilois. There you don't have to search, there's no search. Every page of Likutei Tfilois that a person says, I'm right there, he wrote it for me. I can't imagine that he wrote it for himself. This, this is exactly what I would want to say to the Ebishter, what I would want to say. So this is the Suda of Dovr HaMelech. We should be Zorcha. The Rebbe Tezot, Nitzmet Aira Oitzrois. We have Oitzrois, we have Neshek. There's a war going on and they're playing with toys. They're playing ping pong with missiles. And you see, it's, it's nothing, it's a joke. We have real Neshek. We have a Tehillim, we have a Likutei Tfilois. We, we have a Splitidus, we have a Splitidus. We should be zorcha to use our neshek and, and to see the, the nitzchias. It says that the malchus of the is totally, the malchus of Dovah Amalekh is the malchus of the Ebishter. It says, Bayoy Mahu Yihia Hashem Echod Shmoy Echod. The Seyfe Tevas of Echod Ushmoy Echod is Dovid. That's Dovah Amalekh. We should be zorcha to see the, the malchus. The Haftorah today was Shol Amalekh. That all kinds of complaints that the Yidon Gebet Nar Amalekh. But the, the safe was that after Shaul HaMelech came a Dovr HaMelech, and after Dovr HaMelech came a Shlam HaMelech, and after them is going to come a Shiach and Dovr. We should be zorichet to the Gula Shlam of Amen. 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 Amen.